As a millennial CEO and founder of this company, Decision Point, so how how does it feel to like you started it in 2012, and right now are you happy with where it is, and where do you see this going? Well, I mean, when I started Decision Point in 2012, I was probably 24 years old, um, so I was very young, and uh, it was obviously you at that age you can't really envision. Uh, exactly where things should be. Everybody has a vision of saying, "I want to become big. I want to be successful." Uh, but exactly the definition of success is not something that uh, you will know. You will figure that out along the way, right? So, if I look at the last ten-year journey, the uh, the kind of people I have got the opportunity to work with, uh, the kind of impact that we have created for our clients. Uh, Yes, it's it's very uh, it's a very fulfilling journey. We started in 2012, so now 2021. How much decision point has changed in this like almost a decade? Yeah, we've all got a lot older. <laughs> That's for sure has happened. Uh, but uh, in terms of change, uh, see again, you start a company, you are uh, you know you are very small. I mean, at that time, we were like two, three of us, batchmates. Uh, from IIT Madras, who started the company, and, and we were all very young. Uh, from there, today we are uh, we go to IITs for campus placements, and and we uh, you know we we have like a very 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 diverse uh, and exciting talent of almost two hundred people in the company. Uh, so that's a massive change, right? And uh, we are constantly learning to manage that change because uh, it's not easy uh, when you are like a ten member team. Uh, the way you manage the people, manage the uh, you know the company, everything changes, and it's a very dramatic change. How do you see change at the work life and also in personal life? Like I said, I mean there are two ways to look at change, right? So one is to uh, be afraid of it, right? That's uh, that's our probably initial reaction to anything, and even today after having so much experience. You would still be afraid of change, but one thing I have learned uh, in the last many years is that any change that happens, yes, there will be some bad associated with it. Eventually, we are all creatures of habit, right? So, if something changes, then we are all uncomfortable. Uh, but there is also a very positive side to that uh, because when some things change uh, and when you adapt to that change, uh, you learn and you grow. So, like uh, I have seen, we have changed our website also. We are also changing our how we are pitching ourselves to the clients also. So, what is the view behind that? What is the per perspective? As an organization, we have grown dramatically in the last uh, two years, and uh, I think there's a lot of uh, new things that we are doing uh, for our people, and there's a lot of a very vibrant culture that we have created uh, in, inside the company. And I think uh, we also wanted to reflect that uh, as a part of the website, and uh, and I hope that uh, when people come, they can see all of that to some extent. Uh, it might not be equal to really working in decision point because uh, then you will actually get to see and feel uh, the excitement and all the energy that uh, people like yourself bring. But uh, but yeah, that's that's what we wanted to really express, and uh, and I hope that we have done justice. To Process of change. There is one very big term that we come across as failure. So, how do we cope up with the failure? I, I think there's obviously this saying of you know failure is a stepping stone of success. Sounds very uh, philosophical and, and like you know it's like yeah yeah but you know what failure hurts and reality is failure hurts. But you know what hurts even more is not trying, right? So, I think now is the time for Everybody, especially people who are uh, starting their careers, for them to really experiment, express themselves, try things, uh, and it's perfectly okay to fail. So, according to me, people should make million mistakes and learn from that. Can I know one of the major mistakes that you would suggest me not to do in my coming life? Like I, sh I can learn from your failure in that part. So, um, 
one thing I just want to tell you is that people make a million mistakes is fine, but they should not make the same mistake a million times. Uh, that is something that you should be careful about. That uh, once you make a mistake, you should learn from it and try not to repeat it. Uh, uh, that's something I can tell from experience uh, that you should do more often than not. What advice you will be giving to me and people like me who are just switching from the graduation part right now in July to they will be employed in some of the company in August? I think the single most important piece of advice I would give to all those graduates is that the first three to four years of your career, don't worry about the salary of it. Right? It's very easy to compare yourself saying I'm making X, friend is making Y. Frankly, look at it from two ways. When you look at a span of 10, 20 years, let's say 20 years, uh, your initial starting salaries are completely irrelevant to the total income that you're going to make in those 20 years. It's not going to matter at all. And it will be a very small portion of it. So a few thousand rupees or a few lakhs up, down, it's going to make no difference. Right? Uh, what's really important is that you set yourself up you experiment, you learn what you're good at, what you're not good at uh, and really kind of focus on the learning aspect, right? So rather than the earning aspect. Okay. Thank you so much Ravi for the insights. Thanks Ashish for this wonderful conversation. Okay, thank you so much.